Tommy, in your wildest dreams last night, did you think we'd be stood here after the game today with 11 goals scored and us having scored seven of them and through to the next round of the FA Cup? Obviously not. You know, I was I was really hopeful that we were going to turn up and give a really good account of ourselves in the manner that we want to play the game. We knew that Swindon are a good football side. You know, I know the score's a bit weird. Um, but I thought we deserved the one, obviously. Um, to have scored seven goals, yeah, is, is, you know, it's new enough everything we hit went in the goal, didn't it? So it was just one of them days where our forwards did exactly what we wanted them to do. But I thought out of possession uh, early in the game was why we got the noses ahead and we used the ball sensibly. Um, and like I said, by the time that the, the goal started going in at our end, we'd actually changed half of the outfield players. So, listen, there's nothing but praise for the for the playing staff. I mean, outstanding, but my my support staff. Also, we've had a really really good training week, um, and we've we've prepared as best we can. And sometimes, as a as a coach and staff and management, you just you know they deserve a pat on the back, my my people, because. They work so hard at the little things, at the tiny bits, the one percent bits that we can do better. Um, and we, listen, we'll be we'll be tearing that apart that last twenty minutes when we've conceded three or four goals. Um, so we'll not be happy with that. But even I can give them a, cut them a bit of slack today because listen, we wanted to be in the heart. If we hadn't taken them back to our place, we would have we would have taken that at the, at the start of the game. But to start like we did and score so early, I was probably the only bloke supporting all the shot that wasn't celebrating because I've done that before and, and it's really kicked me in the backside. So. I'm really, like I said, I've got no good praise for the lads um, and the people that came to, in, their, in their hundreds and hundreds. Uh, I'm just delighted for them because I, I'm aware that they haven't had great times of, of late. Um, but this will go down in, in their memory. It's a, it's a score line that you cannot ignore. Um, and the players are absolutely fully deserved of it because they've worked so hard uh, this week. There obviously could have been a few nerves before the game. This is, you know, it's a big stadium, it's a big club. Coming here and, and playing against them, but three goals in, I think it was nine minutes. It's obviously going to calm those nerves. It's, what were your yeah. thoughts after racing ahead like that? Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it was balmy, wasn't it? It, it? it was an unreal situation. So, listen, I've been in games when we've been winning it three 0 at half time, and we've not won the game as recently as last season. So I'm well aware. You know, we we still showed them the utmost respect, and we wanted to get out of the traps in the second half. We knew if we got one more, you probably could think that we're going to win the game. But listen, they've got some real quality players. Dan Kemp, I've known since he was a young lad at West Ham. I've followed him all over the place, tried to sign him all over the place, but he's just been out of my grasp. Um, so I knew he had that in him. And Charlie Austin's an absolute, you know, top top striker at a very very high level. It doesn't matter that he's over 30 now. He knows where he's going. And if he, if you feed the bear, as they say, he'll score. So. Yeah, um, listen, I'm, as you can probably hear from the voice, I'm so I'm delighted, I'm absolutely over the moon. And not, not, I've been there and you know, I've been and had my time as a player, but some of them lads probably haven't had that. I've been lucky enough to do this last season with a previous club, so I knew it was, we were capable. Um, and as the bloke off of the A-team used to say, it's great when a plan comes together. You touched on it a bit there, obviously. I know there's a lot of perfectionists, including yourself, in the dressing room. So those four goals are going to hurt us a little bit, aren't they? But if you're going to concede four goals, you're going to do it when you're seven ahead, yeah? Well, like I said, what they did was they didn't lie down. You know, I know Mickey well and Wayne. They're top, top blokes, top professional people in the game. And they know what they're doing. And listen, they would have been as shocked as I was that the scoreline was what it was. So some days just don't go your way. And it was it was our day. Listen, that's what it is. We're not going to get carried away. Last weekend was. I mean, it's near enough. 85% of that team played last week and didn't turn up, as far as I'm concerned. Now, that might have been because this was on the horizon. That, that's a possibility. But what I will say is if we turn up like that at our own level of the game, then we'll do what we've done so far. What we can't do is switch it on and off like a tap. Because if you do, people of good quality, like they showed there in the last 15, 20 minutes, will absolutely spank your backside. Again, as you've said as well, it's going to be hard to you know single out individuals and that. It was just an absolute team performance. Yeah. But I mean, Jack Barham getting three, Laurent getting two. That's just yeah. superb as well. Yeah, and Josh Stokes again assisting, winning a penalty. All all the things that we want our front three to do, who've started today, they just were on in the rear game. And you know, listen, these lads, them three, but not just them three. I said it before the game. There's some of our lads should and could be in their group, in my opinion. They could play for them. Um, and possibly even a little bit higher. And I've said this this week, people have said, oh, why are you, you're talking your players up? I'm not, I'm just telling you the truth. I do believe the DNA of Swindon's team is very, very similar to ours. There's a lot of young lads in their side that have had really good youth and development careers, and now they're running the first team shirt. The only difference is they're one divi division up from us. But ours have 
the Lawrence, Joshes, Tommy Willards, there's, there's Ollie Harfield, Ryan Glover, Theo, they're all of an age, in my opinion, that they can still go on. And I wanted to be with us, obviously, but if you're doing it in this stage, there, there will be people watching.